Hey guys, this is Rusty and today I'm gonna show you how to build this awesome Christmas tree which you can build to elevate your Christmas winter area or even just in your base as a decoration to get into the festive mood a bit. And now for the tutorial. Start by raising a 12 block high pillar of spruce wood blocks. Then, as we want the tree standing firmly in the ground, we will add some support by placing some more spruce wood blocks next to the main trunk blocks. Here I placed one block in the front, one on one of the sides, then in the back two blocks and next to that one more block so that it's diagonal to the main trunk. Next up we will add some branches onto the tree going mainly from the 6th and 7th block of the trunk and consisting mainly out of spruce wood, dark oak fences and also some fence gates to really represent those tiny branches. After you've done that, grab your spruce leaves and place three of them on top of the highest wood block. Then surround the lowest of those with some more spruce leaves and extend those down to go as far as pretty much the branches are. Now go two more blocks down and fill in the corners and again extend those down. With more leaves go one more block lower and add this kind of upwards facing arrow to all the sides of the tree. And for the next layer Fill in the corners so that the tree is pretty much a 5x5 five five right now. But to avoid that and make it a bit more circular, we will add one more block in the middle of each of those sides. Now fill in the next layer, also adding a few more blocks under the just extended ones, forming again something resembling an arrow. And finally the last few layers are pretty much an improvisation to make the tree look a bit more natural. So you want to extend some parts more than others, but all in all I always like to keep the tree a bit balanced and good looking, as it is a Christmas tree after all. Also another thing I like to do to make the tree look less uniform is to randomly remove some of the leaf blocks. I usually tend to go for the ones that aren't really defining the shape of the tree, so that it doesn't look out of balance that much. And this is our tree. You can pretty much leave it like it is right now if you want just a regular tree. But to make it a bit more festive, we will start adding some decorations, with the first one being the star on the top of the tree. So place two upside down smooth sandstone slabs next to the top leaf block. Then on top of that block place a full block with a slab on top of it and against that full block place a stair on both sides. Next up grab your red nether brick slabs to make the spiral going around the tree and start by placing one of them under the star and slowly make your way down around the whole tree, going down half a block at the start every block that you place, but slowing down a bit after you place a few of those and going down half a block only every second block. Then after some time every third block and finally every fourth but that is really just towards the end. Now we will add some of the hanging decorations using some glazed terracotta. In this case I used yellow, red and green as my main color, but you can pretty much choose whatever you want. And place those all around the tree, but I would recommend trying to be in different orientations every time you place them so that things don't look the same all the time. Here I spaced out those decorations quite a bit, as well as trying to keep the same colors away from each other. And finally, if you're building this tree somewhere outside, you can add some snow layers on top of it, 
for a more wintry look, I usually place just one snow layer in the places where it will be harder for the snow to fall into, like some of these gaps that we dug earlier. But on the rest of the blocks you can pretty much place however many layers you want. I usually place between 2 to 4, while avoiding placing any snow layers on top of the red nether bricks. And finally I added some light blue glass panes on the bottom of the tree to represent some icicles hanging from the tree. Another awesome block to make this out of is of course the end rod, but if you use those you will have to make sure that it wouldn't melt any of your snow layers as it sadly emits quite a lot of light. But that's about it for this video, I really hope you like the design and use it in one of your worlds. If you do definitely leave a like and subscribe to my channel for other videos like this one or even some less festive ones. And see you next time!